Welcome back to the channel guys, it is me, 80 summer for 4 so today guys, I'm going to talk to you guys about USA 1, El Salvador 0, and I'm going to give you guys my quick match reaction. What a performance this was from the US men's national team. And you can see how this team is playing so attacking football. And the team was really good on the day. That being said, the score was only 1-0. And you, you could see what I meant for when I was doing my match preview is that this would be a very difficult game for the US. Because the thing is, El Salvador is very defensively solid. And USA missed a lot of chances in this game. I'm looking at Ricardo Pepe in particular, Christian Pulisic in particular. There was a lot of chances to miss. Missed to McKinney as well. And I just think that for the US in particular here, we still have our striker issue. You know, the fact that DK started this game was something that didn't really uh, sit well with me. I don't know why DK started this game. I think Pepe should have started. And you saw when Pepe came on, he made the instant impact and pretty much um, scored the winning goal and pretty much gave us a lead. And so, like I said before, guys, his presence was very crucial for today's game. Obviously, what credit has to be given to Weston McKinney because that was a brilliant through ball for Weston McKinney to find Ricardo Pepe in that kind of acres of space. And for the USA, man, this was such a very um, well-deserved win. And we should have scored more goals. We really should have. But, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, we got three wins and one draw. We're in the Nations League Final Four, 10 points. And I'm going to show you guys the other Nations League groups because it's actually very interesting because USA is going to be playing against the fourth place team, which is going to be Group B, Group C. And if you look at the table in the Nations League A, um, let's go ahead and actually look at the Nations League A real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and look, look, look at this right here. Um, as you guys can see right here, uh, why isn't it popping up, uh, showing up? Here we go. As you guys can see, Panama is going to be playing against Costa Rica. Now, I believe Costa Rica is actually the um, home team there. And so, Panama, they just need a draw. So, if Panama gets a draw, they will be they will top the group with eight points. And they have a better goal difference than Mexico. So, they might, they'll probably jump ahead of Mexico. Now, that's assuming that they win or get a draw at least. And obviously, if they win... They would go above Mexico. So basically, it, they have to basically not lose. Right? And for Costa Rica as well, if they win, they're going to go basically above. So basically, one of Panama, Costa Rica will be above Mexico. So they'll be second. Okay? Now for Canada. Canada, as long as they beat Honduras, which I believe is at home for them, they should be able to top and they'll go on nine points with a plus five goal difference. And so they'll probably be the second place team, you would imagine, and then third. So we're going to, we could potentially see Canada go up against um, Panama, and then we could potentially see USA play Mexico in the semifinals because that's how it's laid out and structured. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, obviously. On Wednesday, we'll be doing a live stream recapping everything international break-wise as we'll discuss about the the potential semis that could happen in the month of June and obviously the final as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, man. And like I said, man, big, big win for the USA, man. Great performance. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with the three points and I'm, I'm happy we topped the Nations League group. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below of this game. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Remember guys to like, like this, uh, like this video, enjoy, subscribe if you're new on here, comment down below your thoughts, comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.